How's it going good people? My name's Pedro and today we're going to be having a look at the new 1000X Mark IVs from Sony. Now this is the new flagship wireless Bluetooth headset and I'm really excited to check these out mostly because I've been daily driving the old Mark IIs for the last three or four years. And in that time, the headset has held up great without any creaking or bending or breaking while still providing this amazing sound isolation and phenomenal sound quality. So I think without further ado, let's jump into it. So I guess from that there, the first thing we'll do is we'll just go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Make sure we get two corners, let's get around here. Get the other side out here. Then, after a little bit of manhandling, we're able to get in there. Now, a little bit of safety foam there, we'll take that out and then get rid of this box on the side here. And then from that here, we have the actual headset itself. Now, I guess we can see a couple of the features that are actually on the box itself. To start off with, there's a note of the high-res audio that's in the headset itself. Now, this is something that I am a big fan of because, yeah, this just sounded phenomenal from the Mark IIs that I had before. Along with that, we can see the Mark IVs now have a 30-hour battery life. And obviously, you see Bluetooth, no duh. Um, something they're calling three, 360 reality audio. Uh, I guess we'll have a look at that soon enough um, and along with that you get your very standard Alexa and Google Assistant built in. Now a big thing they're advertising on the 1000X Mark IVs is their new industry leading noise cancellation and a lot of their advertisements either online or on TV and stuff like that are all really gearing towards saying how great this noise isolation is. So now we see what's actually on the box itself. Let's go ahead and jump beneath the plastic wrapping and have a look at these bad boys themselves. So we'll just carefully lift up there and we can just tear this off. You can see we've got this nice matte feeling cover on the box and then Oh, okay, that's a very nice unboxing experience. It just sort of slides out there. And then inside here, you have the easy setup, which is just as simple as installing the app. And then from that there, pairing the headset out to the app itself. Now behind that, we have what it looks like is the headphones themselves. Let's put that aside for the time being. And then having a look at what we get in the box itself, seems like there's a little bit of late night reading material. We have some documentation talking about the noise cancelling and just some more stuff on the actual headphones itself. Great for anyone who wants some late night reading material. Now that seems like everything in the box itself and I think in here should be the headphones or at least I hope so. <laughs> so now opening up the box itself. Ooh, these look nice. So down here we have the 3.5 mil cable. So I guess this would go from the headphones themselves out to either your laptop or your controller. Behind that we get the USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And then Finally, there is the headphones themselves, along with an aeroplane adapter, and this just looks like some junk. <laughs> so now getting a bit of an overview of the headset itself, to start with, you get these really nice rose gold accents on things like the Sony logo and the microphone cutouts. On the inside of the headset itself, you have these really soft leatherette ear cups and this also translates through to the padding on the headband itself. Now on the inside of the left ear cup you can pretty much see this little sensor that is pretty much used for the recognition whether the headset's on or off your head 
and that'll translate through to playing and pausing your music along with being able to turn off the headset when it's not in use. Now, moving to the bottom of the headset itself, we have a custom button here, which is essentially used for your assistant of choice, the standard power button, your microphone jack, and along with that as well, your USB-C port. So now on the left, you'll be able to see the old 1000X Mark IIs compared through to the Mark IVs on the right. I think from the visual differences, you'll see that the Mark IIs have this almost leather look to them. Uh, let me see if we can get that a little better on camera. Whereas on the Mark IVs, you get this very nice stealth uh, matte black look. And the Mark IIs as well, you also have this gunmetal gray around the band itself. Whereas on the Mark IVs, it's all just matte black all around. Now, when it comes to the high level features of the headset itself, we already covered a little bit about that looking at the box itself for things like the 30 hour battery life and their industry leading noise cancellation and wireless technology. One more thing to just cover off real quick that I think is an amazing feature on these headsets is their little touch panel they have on the side where effectively you can have gestures of swiping left and right and changing the volume by moving up and down. All right, guys. That pretty much wraps up the unboxing and overview of the new Mark IVs from Sony. Stay tuned for the full review. And if you have any other audio questions or if there's another headset or product you'd want me to check out, leave them down in the comments below. More than happy to have a look for you and let you know what my thoughts are as well. Either way, feel free to check out any of this relevant content popping up on your screen. And until I talk to you guys again, my name's been Pedro. Hope you all have a good one.